Gargamel Hernandez of Thunder Bay, Ontario writes, Dear Film Lab, I just bought a new TV and it's shaped more like a rectangle than my old square TV, which is weird. Plus, some movies I watch still have those black bars at the top and bottom, which I thought widescreen TVs were supposed to fix. Help, I was born yesterday. Well, don't panic, Gargamel, because we're going to get to your letter in today's episode of The Film Lab. A long time ago, people used to watch movies in theaters, and in the super early days of cinema, film was shot on 35mm stock, and each frame of film resembled sort of a rough kind of squarish sort of shape. Throughout the 30s and 40s, this standard image size and its relative shape, which is called its aspect ratio, which is the ratio of the image width to its height, was around 4 by 3, or approximately 1.33 to 1. And it looks like this on our HD TV, which is approximately 16 by 9 or 1.78 to 1. This became known as the Academy Standard Format, and it became the standard in 1932. Here we have the 1939 classic Gone with the Wind. And if you'll notice, there are two black bars running up and down along either side of this image. That's because the original film has a sort of squarish shape to it. And if you try and fill a rectangular shaped monitor with a square image, you're gonna have some unused space. Now, presenting a film like this is called letterboxing, which just means that you're trying to present the film in its original aspect ratio on a monitor that does not share the same dimensions. Most films of this era will look like this on your HD TV. In the 1950s, however, the movie industry panicked because everybody ran out to buy a new TV, which copied the 4x3 format you found in the cinema. People could now watch 4x3 moving images broadcast right to their home, so there was no real point in going to the theater anymore, right? Well, through innovation and experimentation, the film industry fought back with gimmicks like 3D movies, as well as like a million new film formats, each making the picture wider and wider than it is tall. In my opinion, increasing the width of the projection really did pave the way for better image composition, but we'll talk about that in another episode of the Film Lab when we deal with stuff like the golden mean. New formats like VistaVision, Todd AO, Cinerama, Early Cinemascope, and Ultra Panavision all seem to push the image wider and wider and wider, allowing for a way more immersive film-going experience that could never be matched by that of the 4x3 television. Now, when everything settled down, the two formats that seemed to stick were the widescreen 1.85 to 1 format and the scope formats of 2.37 to 1, give or take. The 1.85 to 1 widescreen format, also called Academy Flat sometimes, is just a tiny bit wider than the screen on your HD TV. So when you watch a film like Taxi Driver, you can tell that for the DVD release, they must have shaved just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit off the sides of the image so that it will appear to fill the entire screen of your TV with no black bars whatsoever. Meanwhile, scope formatted films like the new Star Trek movie, which is shot using Panavision lenses with an aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1, look like this on your HD TV. Black bars running along the top and the bottom. This image is nearly two and a half times wide as it is tall. So if you were to trim the sides of this image to make it fit the entire screen of your 16 by 9 HD TV, you'd be missing out on around 25% of the picture, which would suck. So to answer your question, Gargamel, your new 16 by 9 TV can safely accommodate HD broadcast TV channels, as well as a huge chunk of 1.85 to 1 widescreen Academy flat motion pictures. Any other format, be it Academy Standard, Cinemascope, or Panavision, and you're gonna see black bars either running along the top and bottom or along the sides of the image. Now, we're gonna get a lot more technical with aspect ratios in future episodes of the Film Lab, but for now, we hope we've shed some light on why certain movies that you watch on your futuristic new TV still have those pesky black bars that you thought were gone for good. Thanks for watching today's episode of The Film Lab, and follow us on Twitter to find out more about aspect ratios.